Today, we're gonna to show you how to create a module that's gonna allow you to set a custom image on any page. First step that we're gonna do is create that custom module. To do so, you're gonna select Content and come down to Design Manager. From there, you're gonna click on New Custom Module and then create your internal name. From here, you're going to go ahead and grab the snippet of code and paste it into the editor. We're going to provide you this code at the end of this blog for you to copy and paste on your own. You're going to go ahead and click Add New Field and then select Image. From there, you're going to name your label field and select your default image. Once you have your default image selected, you're going to go ahead and copy the highlighted Hubble tag from the usage example. Again, we're going to provide you the code at the end of this blog that already has this step completed. Then you're going to click Create New Field. From here, you're going to paste this Hubble tag that you just copied into the URL parentheses on line 6. You're going to click Add New Field and then Choice. Our goal here is to have a total of three choice fields. You're also going to name your label field up at the top. On your created choice fields, you're then going to go ahead and write top, center, and bottom. Again, now you're going to copy the Hubble tag from the usage example and then click Create. From here, you're going to paste the Hubble tag between background size and center on line 8. Make sure to leave a space between the Hubble tag and center. From there, you're going to click Update. From here, we're going to go select the template we'd like to add the image to and click on Custom Modules. Find your module that you just created and drag it in the template editor and click Publish Changes. We already have a page set up using the template we've been working on. We're going to go ahead and refresh this page so we can view our changes. To edit, click Modules, the name of your module, from there, it's just like editing any other HubSpot fields. And there you have it. You now have an image in the background of a page inside of HubSpot.